This gaming earbud from Gravastar that looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film is called the Sirius. They cost only US $90 and comes in two different colors. And for that much money, you get this cool looking case. Out of this case, you get your usual extra silicone ear tips in different sizes, a very small USB-C charging cable, a user manual, and a big chain to attach on your earbuds if you want to wear them on your necks. Plus the case is very useful too if you take out all the inserts. You can use it to carry your everyday essentials in a backpack. So the most striking thing about this earbud is their cyberpunk inspired design. The build quality is beyond fantastic, the case itself is made out of zinc alloy which gives it a very good weight and it feels like it was designed to last a nuclear explosion. There is a button on the side which you need to press to access the earbuds which have the Gravastar logo on them but are incredibly light compared to the case. They go in the ear canals in a certain angle and then you can twist to lock it in place. It fits my ear really securely and I felt very comfortable and did not feel any wear fatigue for the entire time I was testing it. Also, the earbuds are IPX5 sweat and water resistant so they will be perfect for any sweaty workout sessions. And the whole package is really small and streamlined so you will have no problems carrying it around in your pockets. The Sirius gaming earbuds connect via the latest Bluetooth 5.2 and supports the usual AAC and SBC codecs. But one thing I did not like is that a couple of times when I put back the earbud in its case, after I use it, it would always lose its connectivity with my iPhone. So every time I took out the earbuds to reuse them again, I had to hard reset the earbuds. However, the good thing is that when you are gaming with these bad boys, there is zero sync issues. You just have to tap on the earbud to activate this mode, but once you do this, it is flawless. And in terms of battery life, I got around 4 hours in the music mode and 3 hours in the gaming mode with volume at 70%. And with the case, I was able to recharge the earbuds 3 more times. The serious earbuds do not have wireless charging or fast charging and will take roughly 3 hours to fully recharge, which is very standard for earbuds of this price range. The Sirius earbuds has touch controls which works very well but they have packed so many commands with just taps that it's easy to mess up or to remember what you want to do so there is a learning curve to it but other than that I like being able to increase or decrease volume and change tracks without having my phones out. The Gravastar Sirius earbuds have a 7.2mm dynamic driver inside which have been tuned to provide a bass boosted sound profile. This gives some thick, deep mid bass but the low range bass remains a bit quiet. The vocals or mid range comes through really nicely so that's great as you will be able to clearly hear the lead instruments on a track. But the treble range is a bit disappointing. It is not that clear and has a tendency to overpower other frequencies when the volume is at max level. I understand those are unwise levels but I know some folks just like it loud. So that's something to watch out for. Other than that the sound stage is decent so music does not sound like it is being pumped from a few millimeters away from your eardrums. So overall, I think that the Gravastar Sirius earbuds are a good looking gaming earbud. They do not have ANC like a few other earbuds of this price range, but where they shine the most is with their latency in gaming, which I guess is the main thing for a gamer when they are looking for a gaming earbud. Other than that, the earbuds and the case actually stands out quite a bit for their funky design and will fit right in with your RGB keyboard and your ASOS ROG laptops. The sound quality is also decent as action sequences on a game or hip hop music gives off good bass and they also have a decent call quality indoors but cannot really deal with too much noise on the outside when you're on the calls. But overall I think Gravstar has a good product here, it's uniquely positioned for gamers and design and latency wise they have hit the brief. But that's just me, please let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section down below and if you enjoyed watching this video then please like share and subscribe. This is Nafi signing off till next week. Peace.